Good morning, everybody. I was asked for a studio update. So here we go. I'm going to walk you in the door and I'll turn you so that you can see. Um, my window moldings are all done. The doors are not quite. Here's the uh, moldings for the doorway. We're waiting for the floor to be installed before that one goes up. Um, yep, that's a big wood pile out there. The uh, wood was unexpectedly delivered over the weekend. We didn't expect it for a few more weeks, but we have it now. You can see all of the moldings. It's difficult to tell the color um, unless you get really close or start focusing on it. It is an extremely light pink. It's called Naivete. This is my new sewing table and I will take you around to show it. This on the top of it is a tuffet. I'm teaching a class in November. It is just the cutest thing. You can see it's a little seat and it's nice and soft and cushy and I'm putting four legs on it and one of the legs is gonna be dark blue. Um, you can see the yellow one. Another one is red and then the third, fourth one is, is dark green. So. I think it's going to be really cute. These legs here, this is the list, contractor's list. Um, these legs here actually go on the front of the sewing table. These are the drawer fronts for the desk that I need to paint next. So I'm going to take you around. My sewing table, I am so excited about it. It, it came out exactly the way you, I wanted it. Right now, it's pushed um, towards me a little bit just to balance it because the legs aren't on. These below cabinets are from Ikea. I think they were like $60 a piece. They were not expensive at, at all. And then we took a piece of three quarter inch plywood and the contractor made me a bed for my sewing machine. And between my sewing machine and my extension table, it fits right in there perfectly. So I am thrilled to pieces with it. It is exactly what I wanted it to be. He's got to router the edges of it to finish it off. And then I have to come back and do the final coat of paint. This is going to also be just simple, plain white. Um, it looks really bright in here because everything is white. But once I start adding the color of quilts, I think it'll, um, you'll see a lot more color. So here is my finished sofa table. This will be holding my extra long battings, or extra wide batting. I love my deep window ledges. I just think they're beyond perfect. I'll take you around into my office. Um, my outlet covers are all on. There's my beautiful lights. I'm gonna turn them on. You are not gonna believe how wonderfully bright my area is. There you go. The one that is not covered yet, that's actually my internet access and telephone. And then this one over here, he needed a different type of extension plate, so that's why that one's not done. Turn the light off. I'm going to turn you to my closet. Now, my closet, we've had a lot of discussions over how I was going to finish that off, about as many discussions as we've had over the stairs. The closet, what we have found is we're going to do a bypass system, and it will take four doors. So I'm going to get four regular um entry doors and they will be able to slide across that entire unit um, depending upon what I need. So the quilts are going to hang on that rack and then what I will be doing is the contractor will build me a shelf down below for the batting. Now somebody asked me why I didn't do the shelf on top of the quilts and my reasoning for that was if I got, every once in a while I get really, really long quilts. 
and I didn't want to risk the quilts coming near the floor. So I felt if there was a shelf there, the shelf would be kept cleaner and um, less chance of getting stepped on. I just don't want anything to happen to a quilt. So that's the reason for that. Um, the couch that's sitting here does not belong here. It is um, actually going in our formal living room, but um, we needed to make a move around. Um, so it ended up having to have to come out here for a little bit. My grandchildren were playing on it. That's why it's half covered now. There's a lot going on in the house too because of this construction, a lot more than what I had anticipated. But that happens and that's okay. Um, my fans, you can see my two fans are here. I'll take the camera around so you can see them better. We've made some decisions on the stairs. I had originally wanted to paint the risers part. The riser is this part here, not the step. I wanted to paint them and put quilt blocks on them. And after talking with the contractor and with my husband, what we've decided that we're gonna do is the steps themselves are gonna be um, polyurethane or gym sealed, whatever you, whatever you do. And then the outside part, so here and here going up, is going to be painted and I'll be putting um, quilt blocks on that. And I'm okay with that because that's what I will really see more than anything else. So I'm gonna take you around underneath the stairs. The contractor has completely finished off underneath the stairs for us. We've got to put a little piece of, some type of a molding piece there. But he's completely finished this off and I foresee making a whole bunch of big throw pillows in a spot for my grandchildren to curl up and read. So that was pretty exciting. And let's see if I can get a good shot of all the lights. There you go. There is the bulk of the lights. You can see the one, where's the other? Oh, you can't quite see it. Two. There's the two spots that the fans will go in. And I'll take you up and show you what the fan looks like better. It's just a real plain, simple um, white fan. There you go, there it is. We are not going to be putting the light in. We're just going to be putting the fan in. That's it. Um, we won't put the light on. So here is the update. This is where we're at. The next thing that is happening is I believe my husband and I are going tonight to purchase the floor. Let's see if I have a sample of the floor to show you. Oh, I do. Oh, how exciting. Okay. This is the floor. That's what it'll look like. And I'm very happy with it at this stage. We looked at a bunch of different vinyl. We looked at a snap vinyl. But right now it was just really more money than we wanted to spend. We figure we have spent enough for a little while. So there's Rena. She's out here with me for a little bit. But here is our update. So the floor goes in next. Um, well, first we have to go buy it. So I believe tonight we're gonna go buy the flooring. And so the flooring goes in. My cutting table is almost ready. Um, it's been painted. I have a couple things to touch up and then that will be done. And my current cutting table needs to come down. So we're getting there. I'm trying to think of all the things I have left to do. I think it is, let's see, one more time with the list. I have to finish painting the sewing table. I have to finish painting the cutting table. I have to completely paint the desk. And I have to repaint my current cutting table because that's going to be my pressing table. And then I think I'm done with my work. And then it's just up to the contractors. 
So we really are getting down to the very end. I have a tentative move-in date. My tentative move-in date is September 20th. That is the day that it's a Sunday and we're trying to get together enough um, muscles to help us take the Gamel Statler apart and move it in here. So that's where we're at. I wanted to make sure that you got an update and I will update you again once the floor is in. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them before below. I love to hear from you guys and we will talk again soon. Thank you for your patience in sticking with me until I get this project done so that I can get back selling. Um, I am definitely still working on stuff, but just don't have the time right now to get things filmed. But I have a lot of really cool projects coming up for you. Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.